hello again. Yes, this is one page of Maria Gimbutas's big book called um, The Language of the Goddess. And I promised to show this to you. Let me see whether I can find... There it is, the title page. Language of the Goddess by Maria Gimbutas, published by Thames and Hudson in 1989. And what this is really is basically it's just a huge, big, beautiful catalogue of images of prehistory and prehistoric symbols. And I just think this is so beautiful. I look at this now and I realise that I have never really read it through and through because it's, you know, academic and a bit dry. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Those are, there are just so many hundreds of these images and statuettes and symbols and, I don't know, little items and pots and pans and things that we have never really seen. And we especially haven't seen them all together like this. So um, I have found this to be uh, quite an inspiration. I um, suppose it is, uh, you know, cultural history on every page there are just these really extraordinary items and with each and every one there is um, information about where they were found etc she has in this book she has grouped the uh, oh look i have been there this must be gavrinis mm -hmm. yes gavrinis orthostats right there these are this um a huge passage tomb that's the map right there down the bottom that we visited in uh, 2018 in the summer in Bretagne. And these are uh, almost man size or bigger or broader than man size uh, stone slabs that have these carvings all over them. It's just one example. You know, there's tons and tons of this stuff and... Um, I just loved uh, always, uh, you know, just leafing through them and um, looking at the pictures and sort of being astounded each and every time at how much there is really and how much has been found and is actually now um, mostly hidden away in, um, in museums and in archives and places all over the world. And... She has grouped them uh, in this uh, book. She has grouped them according to category or type of symbol. And she has her own uh, approach uh, as to what means what exactly. And uh, she, yeah, you don't have to necessarily agree with her every step of the way, I think. That's, um, you know, that's science. You don't have to agree with anything. Uh, but I just think it's gorgeous to have this book. And I have another one, which is over here. It's called The Civilization of the Goddess. This one does have the front cover on, uh, the, out of, on the outside. Because the other one is a hard-bound copy. And it uh, used to have a paper cover all around it. And I lost that, of course. So this is probably the same publisher. I haven't checked yet. And I... Um, Suppose she goes into the background of what she has found much more. And I haven't even read these because, you know, well, each time I'm just completely uh, distracted by all this beautiful stuff and faces and patterns and wow, you know, I just go, I start leafing around somewhere and there's just tons of stuff. So um, that's the other one. If I will, I I put them on my table now, okay? So I am going to try to read at least parts uh, of them and see where I end up. And there's quite a number of figurines that uh, some of us may have seen somewhere. This is Malta, I think. Malta in the Mediterranean, a small island. I should really go there. And this one I also know, except I don't remember exactly where it's from. There's hundreds. So what I also did, what I started doing at some point, um, I started making 
my own necklaces with uh, let me see if I can show this to you so that there's actual light on them and I found that I can make you know little bosoms and bellies and um, you know mothers with children this is like a ceremonial necklace to the extent that I do any uh, you know ritual it feels like a ritual to put it on and I love this thing and I uh, have before I think hinted at that in uh, some of my previous vlogs where I sort of described how I make these out of clay and then you can make any type of pattern on the outside this one let me show you whether I can see whether I can show you this one actually has a kind of a fountain there's a female figure at the bottom lying down and a little what looks like a tiny tiny shrine right there you see how tiny they are <laughs> and you can just bake them in the fireplace and these I baked yesterday and there's the back side of one and that's the front so I went into you know going from the prehistoric uh, bosoms and bellies and buttocks type of thing I kind of went over to um, is she upside down yes of course she's upside down there she is um, more more like a mother goddess type thing and I kind of I still enjoy making them I made these uh, last summer and they were sitting on a shelf somewhere drying for a while and uh, nothing really happened and I baked them in the fireplace last night only you know if they're red hot in a wood fire for a couple of hours they will become quite solid so you can still break them of course you shouldn't stand on them because that's the end of it but you can you know see you get you get different types of colors depending on where exactly so got a bit of our wood ash on it um and you can stick a thread on them and uh, a wire or a piece of yarn through them or leather um, you know a cord put a leather cord through them and you can wear them easily enough so this is a bit more of an uh, of an abstract one sometimes I like to let me see no this is the way up uh, there's the hole where you should put the, the the thread through okay and it's just I like to sometimes make these where there's uh, you know holes all around and you can sort of see light fall in and stuff like it looks a bit like a cave or something and this bit would be some type of a you know symbol esque type some something it's supposed to suggest more than to really mean anything to me at the moment but they all feel very comfy and very warm and nice because i put some hours into them and um it's like linking up with the past, right? Because we, um, what are these? Round and convex gold pendants with eyes. These. So pendants. People, women, have always made jewellery, I think. And so have men. And we've always, you know, made ourselves look pretty and stuff. Here's a kiln. Maybe this is a nice uh, close-up. And a nice, nice, um... You know spot to end this uh you know what i mean by now i'll put some uh, more info in the description maybe you like uh, seeing this i um i am definitely going to uh, go into these books uh, from now on so thank you for watching guys see you soon bye bye